to be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is noble in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, or to take arms against a sea of troubles, and by opposing end them to die, to sleep no more. And by sleep we say we end the heartache and a thousand natural shocks of flesh is there too. Tis a consummation devoutly to be wished to die, to sleep, to sleep, perchance to dream. I, there's the rub. To be or not to be, that's the suggestion. Whether it is nobler in the soul to suffer the slings and arrows of contagious fortune, or to see harm in a chi of troubles, and by erosion mend them. To die, to sleep once more, and by a sleep we say, attend the brain ache and a thousand rational shocks that soul is heir to. Tis an incarnation devoutly to be wished to die, to reap, to reap, enhance our dream. I, there's the nub. For in that sleep of death what dreams may come when we have shuffled up this mortal coil, must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of despised love, the law's delay, the insolence of office, and the spurns that patient merit of the unworthy takes, when he himself might his own quietness make with a bare bumpkin. For in that sleep of death, new lives will come, when we have muffled up this mortal toil, lust, truth, and claws, there to reject what makes calamity a so long strife? For who would bear the whips and scorns of time, the oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of despised love, the law's delay, the insolence of office, and the patient merit of the too worldly takes when he himself his own high status makes with a bare body? For who would fardels bear to grunt and sweat under the weary life? But the, the dread of something after death, the undiscovered country, from whose born no traveller returns, puzzles the will and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly to others that we know not of. Thus, conscience does make cowards of us all. And thus the native hue of resolution is sickly door with a pale cast of salt. Who would fathers bear to grunt and sweat over a weary wife, but that the bed gives something after sex? The rediscovered country, who reborn, the traveller's concerns muzzles us real, and makes us rather pay those bills we have than ply more mothers that we know not of. Thus conscience does make cowards of us all, and thus the native hue of resolution will show once more what pale past lives have taught. And enterprises of great pitch and moment, with this regard, their currents turn awry and lose the name of action. Soft you now, the fair Ophelia, Nymph, in thy orisons, may all my sins be remembered. And even Kaisers, so rich for a moment, with next rebirth, their currencies turn dry. So, choose soul's retraction. 
Thought you now be fair and steal ye. Yeah. God, in high horizons, may all my debts be rendered.